Hello everyone, I'm back and I decided to make another video on this day of September the 1st, 2012 and uh, I just had a bit of a, a thought today in my, pop into my head so I'm going to express my thoughts on it. It's another, it's another political thing. Um, I made a video several minutes ago about my thoughts on Bill O'Reilly. Uh, so while I'm on the topic of politics, I think it, it would be good that I express my thoughts on this. This is another American thing. Yeah, I know I'm Canadian, but the United States intrigues me a bit. And I'll admit that my knowledge of American politics is fairly rudimentary, and uh, if I make any statements that are incorrect or misinformed and people see this, uh, you know, I, I would very much appreciate you to comment and uh, tell me that I'm misinformed or incorrect about any statements that I make. Uh, I do make mistakes, people, and I'm not perfect. So, um, today I was thinking, the United States, since its inception in 1776, I believe it is, um, has had in its First Amendment uh, the importance of the separation of church and state. Uh, now, I know for the most part the United States uh, does not base its laws on, uh, on religion, but religion is still a very plays a very big role in American politics and a larger role than it should um, and I think that in the United States religion should play literally no role at all because if you have true separation of church and state then religion should religion should have literally no influence at all and everything should be perfectly clean-cut and secular uh, but I don't think this is completely the case, and I'm going to start listing uh, examples of this. So, in an American court of law, when you are uh, uh, when when you are um, when you are being tried for a crime, you are asked to place your hand on the Bible and swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, placing your hand on the Bible would imply that you have that you have some sort of a, uh, a, a Judeo-Christian uh, religious affiliation. Uh, so thus, thus something that is supposed to be legal and hence, and hence involves the government and, is, and should be secular by all means is, uh, is using a religious text in its, in its practices. Um, so this this is in uh, this is in a direct violation automatically. Uh, also, uh, another thing is that um, I, Americans and their voting preferences um, I would probably not elect a non-Christian candidate, and uh, a candidate's a candidate's religion seems to play too large a role in their persona. Uh, that they are trying to create when when they are um, when they are uh, applying for a political position uh, such as the president of the United States, just to use a uh, a, a very uh, grand example of that. Uh, now, I, I know that I know that in a democracy, voters have their own preferences, and that uh, the the should not be uh, the should not be. Uh, the basis that their preferences are formed on should maybe not be questioned, and uh, but I, I think I am going to question this a little bit just because uh, why would these candidates even even bother to make their uh, their their religion a, a a big part of of their uh, political representation? Uh, why would they just not uh, keep their mouth shut about their religion and just focus on the secular political issues? Obviously, their religion, which is usually Christianity, um, is is used to make to make them more appealing to voters, and uh, thus religion gives them more political popularity in a in a state which is supposed to be completely secular. Uh, for instance, uh, George W. Bush is commonly quoted as saying, "God bless America." Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's just all I have to say about this.
Uh, I'm going to get going, people. This was just a this was a relatively short video from me. Uh, just you know, peace, everyone, and uh, have a very good night or morning or afternoon or wherever you live and whenever you're watching this video. See ya.